Equation for capillary rise. As shown in the figure, a capillary tube is dipped in a liquid. The liquid rises up the capillary tube due to capillary action. For example, let us consider that a liquid in figure is water and the capillary tube is made up of glass material. As the forces of adhesion are stronger than the forces of cohesion, the water is attracted towards the glass surface. Because of surface tension of water, the water is also pulled upwards with the water surface in a capillary tube. The surface of water in a capillary tube is concave in nature. The forces of surface tension capital T act along the tangent to the curved part of liquid at the point of contact. Let theta be the angle of contact of water with glass tube. Let us resolve the force due to surface tension into vertical and horizontal components. By definition, the surface tension is the force per unit length. Hence, the total force acting on the periphery of the capillary tube is given by F equal to T into L. The total length along the periphery is 2 pi r. Thus, L equal to 2 pi r. Hence, force is equal to T into 2 pi r. However, the effective force for lifting the water vertically in a capillary tube is due to only vertical component of surface tension. Horizontal component of surface tension is given by T sin theta. The horizontal components are equal and opposite and hence they cancel out resulting in net zero force. The vertical component responsible for rise of water is given by T cos theta. Hence, the total force is given by Fv equal to T cos theta into 2 pi r. Due to this vertical upward force, the water rises in the capillary tube and stops when this vertical force is balanced out by the gravitational force acting downward. This is the equilibrium point where total upward force is equal to downward force. 2 pi r t cos theta equal to weight of raised water and that is equal to volume of raised water into density of water into acceleration due to gravity namely g. Therefore, 2 pi r t cos theta equal to pi r square into h into rho into g. 2 pi r t cos theta equal to weight of raised water and that is equal to volume of raised water into density of water into acceleration due to gravity namely g. Therefore, 2 pi r t cos theta equal to pi r square into h into rho into g. Rearranging the terms we get capital T equal to pi r square into h into rho into g upon 2 pi r cos theta. In this equation, r is the radius of capillary tube, h is the rise of liquid, rho is the density of liquid, g is the acceleration due to gravity and theta is the angle of contact. The relation between rise of water in two capillary tubes deep in the same liquid. As shown in the figure, there are two capillary tubes dipped in the liquid. The first capillary tube has a radius R1 and rise of liquid is H1. The radius of the second capillary tube is R2 and the rise of liquid in it is H2. Let us write the equations for capillary effect in two tubes as T1 equal to R1 H1 rho 1 into G upon 2 cos theta 1 and T2 equal to R2 H2 rho 2 into G upon 2 cos theta 2. As the liquid in both the capillary tubes is the same, T1 equal to T2. 
by equating the RHS of both equation, we get R1 H1 rho 1 into G upon 2 cos theta 1 equal to R2 H2 rho 2 G upon 2 cos theta 2. The liquid in both the tubes is the same and therefore we have the equalities rho 1 equal to rho 2 theta 1 equal to theta 2. Substituting these values and cancelling out the identical uh, terms from both the sides of the equation, we get R1 H1 equal to R2 H2.